Hi Kim, this is Maggie and thank you again for your work yesterday. I really appreciate that um, you were really clearly making an effort and wanted to complete the task although you were not sure you know how to how to review the websites but um, I really like the um, you know your your attitude to the task and the way you know your um, you had a lot of energy and you wanted to learn. And that's why I prefer um, to spend the time this week and next week just to show you how to review the website, which um, I should really have prepared um, this kind of material earlier, but as I'm new to hiring virtual, virtual assistants, I, I'm still new to the process, so bear with me as well. Um, okay, so this is my website. If you want to, you know, you can spend some time just browse what kind of services I offer. You can definitely use use this information when creating the posts. And this is the document that I sent you with the Shopify post wording. And I found um, two posts on the forum that I would like you to work on today. And as I mentioned, this will be just a training and. Um, you can spend an hour um, creating two answers for this post and I will still pay you but obviously for the training period it will be paid as agreed um, to US dollars per hour. Um, once you will feel confident um, creating the posts we will um, we'll return to the um, full price uh, payment as for the VA that we agreed six dollars per hour. So. Um, so in this video I will show you how to review the stars and you will actually be writing the answers to the actual questions. So I'll basically tell you step by step how to review the website and what to include in the post. Um, I will also, also send you the links to those two questions. So these are on the Shopify forums. Um, one of them was posted about an hour ago, so it's quite fresh, which is great. And um, when you open the post, it's a great idea to read the, you know, the question because sometimes they've got a very specific question to ask, and they're not always asking for the website review, but uh, have got other uh, queries. Sometimes they ask about the traffic. Sometimes they ask about um, SEO. <clears throat> I know that you are confident with SEO, which is great. And uh, and sometimes they ask about any other questions, so it's great um, to have an idea of how to how to treat each, um, you know, what kind of angle to take um, when constructing the answers. So this one says, "Hello, we have the page La Planchetta Grido under Shopify, where we sell just one product." We get a very variable conversion rate during the month, and the feedback would be very highly welcome. So obviously, they just want straight um, straight feedback on the website. So I'm going to click the link, and sometimes you will find that the link link is being a little bit of um, a little bit of um, um, I don't know how to say it, but it doesn't work well on the Shopify forum because of, because of the settings. This one actually he did put the right link, but sometimes it is um, better to click the link in the signature because these not always work. But this one will work, um, and and now I'm going to review the website, and you can you can follow the um, you can follow the the points that I'm making and basically just put them in the post. Um, so obviously don't um, don't write uh, word by word. Just uh, have an idea uh, what points to you know to refer to and what information to include. So obviously this website is selling only one product, which means that they need uh, a lot more content on their homepage to keep. Um, to keep customer interested and I think they're doing a great job because I had a look at this website before but there are a few pointers that we can that we can suggest. Um, he has got few of the sliding images but as you notice he only um, includes this information here and 
if we want, because he asked about the conversion rate, he wants to improve the conversion rate, which means improving the sales, uh, because he's got visitors, but the sales are not there. So in order to improve sales, I usually recommend to, um, you know, to have stronger calls to action, which is CTA on the website. And obviously he doesn't have that, um, your iron griddle, uh, he's got his call to action on all of the images, as you see, because the images change, but the text doesn't change. And what we can suggest is to change the text for each image and basically include the benefits of the product because just putting information in your iron griddle, it it doesn't really sell, it doesn't really does this, it doesn't really do the selling. If he would include information, for example, on the other image, he would include information, um, one-stop solution for all your uh, barbecue needs or, um, or grill meats and vegetables together in one or, you know, your travel grill, something like that, just include more benefits because uh, people buy based on the benefits, not based on the information. So as a store, store owner, uh, he has to include benefits. Um, so that would be great to, um, to, point, to point it out in the review. I'm going to see if, uh, if this button works which is great because it goes straight to the checkout, which is fantastic. Okay, so he made the process very simple, which is great. And then we can scroll down a little bit and then we can see that um, he put extra information. La planchata is useful to prepare brochettes with no hassle. Just prepare them, put la planchata over two burners, place the brochettes in la planchata, turn low and heat. See, this is the benefit that um, that sells the product. So it would be great to um, to point out that he could put um, this information, like short tagline, in the um, in one of the banners. Uh, in one of the banners, in the in the text in the banner. Okay, he links to um, to the blog post. I can see, I can see the highlight of the link when I hover over the link. I can see where it links in just little this preview here in the corner. So I can see that I can open it in the new tab. So I'll check it. How does it look like? Okay, so he's got a blog post telling how to. Per, um brochette. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like um, shashlik. We call it shashlik in Poland. And um, okay, so that looks great. Uh, process with pictures, which is fantastic. This is this is uh, this is what I'm talking about. Selling benefits. People can see what kind of benefit they can have. How to prepare the bronchetta or whatever it's called bruschetta and uh, you know what kind of uh, elements to use which is great okay um, it would be great to have more text obviously because the more text um, you include on website the better it ranks in Google but um, I'll move to this uh, to this stage later and okay so this is another buy now button which is configured correctly. That's great. Burgers. So that's another way to, um, you know, to use this product. It's special for burgers. I'm not sure if special is the best word. I think it will be perfect for burgers. You can cook the meat in one side and the sides in another. Um, obviously, this sentence needs a little bit of attention. So, um, but we don't have to, you know, we don't have to be petty with that at the moment. And um, it would be great to um, to mention that the image should be linked to the blog post as well, and maybe add some short text on the image with uh, with call to action because otherwise um, it just leaves the um, um, the image inactive, and each element on the home page should have its function. 
and also there is uh, there is very very small gap between text and image you can see that this is much better optimized there is a border around the image which is lacking here so it's worth pointing it out to to um, improve the styling of the burgers element all types of food it's great get very hot and stay very and stay hot it is great for meat and also a good option for vegetables you want to try you want to try pizza omelette breakfast sandwich there is almost no limit in our food section okay that's great yeah that would be great to um to link this image to the relevant blog post and add call to action as well but otherwise than that, it um, it looks great. Feature section. Okay, you can you can mention to basically to um, to link all of the images. Um, he includes the product details below, which is fantastic. The review with a happy customer, which is important as well. Um, also, from SEO point of view, he includes internal links as here and here. Obviously, um, we know that it's better to include uh, a certain, you know, um, a text that includes a keyword as an internal link. So you can mention to change the here, for example, you can see more photos of our planchetta griddle here, and then link our planchetta griddle and more testimonials of happy customers or happy planchetta um, customers here and then link the whole phrase as an internal link um, instead of here and here obviously this is um, this is very very um, old-fashioned way of doing SEO and we have to remember that internal links are best used if we use keywords with them as well You can more watch more videos here, so obviously this this need to be changed as well. So it's worth mentioning it. So I'm going to see the video. It looks quite professional in my opinion. Okay, he definitely did make an effort with creating the video. Uh, which I love and because this video is so great I definitely would see that on the top of the home page as you know as the featured video because video cre video creates stronger connection with with buyers as he wants to improve um, conversion rate I would definitely uh, recommend putting it uh, full size on the top of the home page because at the moment he has it like really small video hidden at the bottom of the home page so this will definitely help him improve the um, the, uh, the conversion rate so instead of the sliding banners that he's got on top of the home page I mentioned that he should include this video full size as soon as you know on top of the home page as soon as um, as uh, as the home page is loaded then people um, can see the video then people can see those delicious and scrumptious foods that they, you can prepare or they can prepare with the griddle and it definitely will create stronger connection Let's contact us it's great that looks good um, he's got uh, links in the footer which is great it's important it's it's always worth uh, worth um, looking for links in the footer because he's got a very long home page once you scroll down to the home page you don't want to be you know scrolling all the way back because it's a it's a hard work for um for online customer it's funny how it works that online we, we just get very lazy we want to um, have instant solutions on every step so it's worth remembering you know the easier the website is to navigate for customers the more profitable it is and it's worth remembering about it when reviewing the website okay so he's got link to the to the home page which is important features it's not really a strong keyword so it's worth including keywords in each link or each category features maybe griddle features something like that maybe 
Panchata features, photos, fuck, news about us, search videos. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to see the rest of the website. Mr. Q is going over to Bernard's. All kinds of food in the center of the food, quite loud, all of lard. Okay, that's great. I just noticed that um, there's no internal links. Internal links are important when it comes to optimizing websites. Um, as you know, because um, internal links are important for search engine optimiza optimization, it's important for Google rank, so it would be great to, um, to include internal links. I'm not sure if these are h tags or just um, cup words, so cup, cups lock words, so it would be great to point um, him to use h tags for all the headings. So for example, H2 tags. And also features, it's not a strong keyword. It would be great to use stronger keywords when creating H tags. And uh, the image is here. It would be great to link the image to the product, to the product page with call to action as well. Um, otherwise than that, it's great. It would be it would be fantastic to see more content as well. Each page should have about five hundred plus words on the um, you know on each page. Okay, photos. But I think he's got a lot of content for a website that sells only one product. So he obviously put a lot of work into you know into this website. So it's worth you know pointing it out that. Obviously, the, he um, you know he put a lot of work. So these are all photos. Okay, blog post with photos. That's great. I mean that's great, but um, we have to remember that each image ideally should have image alt tags. I'm not sure if they do have image alt tags. And uh, uh, and it's worth. Um, obviously linking each image to the product to the product page um, adding more text definitely could benefit him when it comes to SEO so if even if he includes just photos it's worth um, maybe including a hyperlinked description okay. of each image and maybe about a short paragraph on the top of the on the top of the blog post with internal link and hashtags as well so this is the same so this is the link to the page, the blog post with photos. That's good. He's using um, photos of people's faces, which is very important. People definitely, um, website visitors make stronger connections seeing um, people's faces than, you know, photos with no faces. Okay, frequently asked questions about payment and delivery. Contact him at Pinchatan. Perfect. Okay, so he's got. He's got information about um, the delivery call, delivery is included. Okay, credit, credit, credit and debit cards. Okay, he put debit cards on. It's worth, um, I noticed a few, few errors as well, so it's worth pointing him to, um, to proofread the website, proofread the content, because um, it's always a problem with someone who creates websites that, um, you know, someone who is non. Um, native English speaker, like you know, you and me, I uh, always had this problem, so I always was trusting someone else to proofread my content because it can definitely damage the sales. Um, it's funny that because many people make mistakes, but if you know, if the business owner, if the business that you want to buy from make mistakes, you definitely lose trust. When you lose trust, you don't want to shop with them. So. It is a very touchy subject and it's worth investing in proofreading the content professionally. He's got more content on you know how to prepare the product and so on. Obviously we need to we need to point out to add more internal links to the post and uh, at and use um, 
your keywords. So how to clean it, not how to clean, but how to clean, clean your planchetta griddle. Obviously it will be better for SEO point of view. Okay, I think I really like this page. We just need more uh, internal links. News. So another news page, which is quite confusing because he seems to have a lot of blog posts. Which, with, with only two blog posts, which is quite, yeah, very, very confusing. Um, okay, I really don't understand why he needs to include it as a separate um, link. It would be best to include all of the, you know, blog posts in one link instead of, um, you know, sending visitors to different parts of the website with the same content. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. Mm, about us, okay, about us definitely need um, need more content. So you can use when it comes to when it comes to reviewing this about us page, you can use the paragraph from the template. So far, uh, make sure to to write down the answers in your own language. So use the template as little as possible because I would love to see more um, custom, more unique answers each time you create a post. So only use um, template answers with the page like about us page, but also make sure to read if it refers um, if it refers to the actual page because sometimes there are small changes that may not suit the um, each website. So this is great. Obviously we need more internal links, we need more hashtags and we need longer page. And uh, contact us. The contact us form can be on separate page under contact us page so it doesn't have to be on about us page and um, so this is search function videos I think it goes back to the news page or something like that um, I'm not sure I think it goes back to the blog post from the news page which is um, which is unnecessary to have so many at least three different links to blog posts. So it's so this is blog post with uh, uh, with recipes. So this is the same that we've seen before. Yeah, um, as mentioned, uh, he just needs more text with each blog post and just put um, the photos, the videos and posts in the same blog because most of the posts on his website look identical so I'm not sure what's the point of um, classif classifying because the blog posts are still images. Um, Okay, so testimonial. Okay, so testimonials are important. I like that he's using the um, uh, the images of people. That's definitely more important to use images of people using the product than just the product itself. So that's great. It would be great to put internal links as well in this page. Okay, so this is the um, the design. And at this point, we finished uh, um, we finished the review in the website, and in the next paragraph, you can include information that um, if you would like more tips on how to improve conversion on your website, please get in touch and book your consultation, and then you can link to the consultation page on my website, which is you you can find. Uh, right here under services and consultation and uh, what we can do we can check the um, SEO of this of this website so I go back to the home page copy the web address 
and paste it in the uh, here. Click analyze, and we can see the results. He's got 55, which is okay on the low side, but it is not tragic. We can see what we can improve. So this is the meta title. Obviously, it needs more detail, details because we can point out that La Planchetta is not a keyword that people will be searching for. We need to use the keyword that people will be searching for. So maybe a griddle, maybe a garden griddle, maybe garden barbecue. Obviously, he's in US, so um, people will be could be using different. Um, different phrases than in England. For example, in England it was barbecue or in US I think it's grill. I think I think so, but obviously he's using griddle, so it's worth uh, running the keyword research and then add call to action to meta title. Um, the meta description is much better, but we need call to action as well, for example, by now. By now at the very end. So these are the H2 tags that I mentioned. He's using H2 tags, which is good on the home page. We obviously need to see more H2 and H3 tags on other pages as well. Um, the keyword density, he doesn't have much text, so I would definitely um, recommend for him to use more text on a home page and obviously work on the word cloud so the content analysis so it means that he has to make sure to um, to run for the right keywords so for the right griddle so for the word griddle planchette obviously people won't be searching for planchette on google unless they already know about this website about this product they will be looking for other words like you know barbecue grill griddle and so on um, so he should imp um, improve the content, he should use more words like that um, on the website. Okay, so this is about it. Um, I think it should, um, you know, make sure to write 80% of the post in your own language. So include the information I mentioned and then maybe use the template information about about us page and SEO from the from the template but the rest uh, make sure to um, to write down uh, in your own in your own words so I'm happy for you to spend an hour creating a post because I know it will be you know it will take a long time I'd rather see a longer post really detailed post and if you feel confident, we can start with two posts tomorrow. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to, to send me any questions via Facebook messaging. I will be here. So, um, so let's treat this week and next week as a training period. And then we'll see how you feel. If you feel like, you know, this is a good challenge for you. If you feel like you can learn new things or do you feel that this will be too much. So, um, so yes. Um, the link I will send you the link to the post in uh, um, on Facebook okay so thank you very much Kim and thanks again for your time um, bye bye